She was a crazy woman. Uh, I could do to say I tried to change it because that's just the way she was. Hmm. Shit. This might be the only resolution I can do this in. Lame. Well, them's the bricks. speed Jesus oh wait uh, there here I gotta show you what I'm dealing with here with how fast this is going this is this is like impressive I don't know if it's gonna show it or not though does that show no I'm gonna have to show window capture then oh man Oh man. Eh? Window capture. This, there. Window capture. There. There we go. Alright, so this is what I'm dealing with right now. I'm gently pushing my, my stick down. Yeah. I don't think this is normal. Let me unplug and replug this thing in. But I don't think this is normal. I went up right there. You see this shit? This is impressive. I might just have to do the freaking mouse and keyboard. Or keyboard more like it. Because I don't think there's a mouse in this game. Is there? No. Well, yeah. Um, that was something. Here. Yes. Here, let's see gamepad set up. Nothing there. Analog game pack set up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This might work. Let's see what happens now. No. Nope. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't fixing shit. Good lord. Oh man, this is this is squeaky sounds shit. Fucking hell. Um, here? Uh, you know what? This game ain't fuck. No, this this isn't even gonna work. This is not gonna work. This it's 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 laggy. This is there's too many problems with that. Hang on, let me find something. I'm gonna find something. Here, I'll even. Here you go. Here, we'll hunt together. This is hunt the oh that that's my thing. I'm trying to scan my computer because there's problems with it right now. But I want this thing, not that thing. Thanks. Fit. There we go. Alright, we're going to scan this shit. 
Like my six dollars and eight cents up there? Fuck yeah. Wait, it's not showing my mouse. No, fuck that. Capture mouse. There you go. There you go. Wait, no. There it is. See that? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. We gotta find something, because this thing ain't working. And then I tried... Blood Rain here, because it was, it was similar to... You know what? Hold on. We need fucking music. This is too quiet. It's too quiet for even me. I can't handle how quiet it is right now. I'm used to something. So, give me one moment here to fix this shit. There we go. Much better. Alright. Now. Let's find a game here. Harvest and Orange Juice, great game. Not the, not the best thing for single player. We'll do viewer's choice. What do we got? Got anything? I don't got anything. I don't got shit. Remember viewer's choice? Remember when we used to do that shit? I remember that shit. It was a great time. Um, hmm. I still guess. <laughs> Fucking guess. I still could never figure out how to beat that boss. Never once. Risk of rain? Eh. That's too loud? You guys can't handle good music. You guys are pansies. It's okay though. You're allowed to be pansies. Just stop it. Uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Five Nights at Fuckboys. Christ. Just play the shitty games that guy sends you every stream? I guess I could. There's some weird shit. Mm -hmm. What is this one again? What is this game? What is this? I don't remember this game. It's pretty intense. Reseteer made, definitely. Hmm, hmm. Huh? It's weeby. Good. Embrace it. Huh? That's pretty good. Super weeby. Yeah. We got better music playing right now. We need that. Interesting. Hmm. Fuck it, we'll do it. Let's go. We're doing it. Now just gotta wait for this thing to install. Give it just a wee moment, ladies and people. <sighs> what song is this? Well, this song... It's from the Digimon OST. Not really. Not at all. Xenoblade all over again. Chess while we wait. No reason to wait. It's already done. Alright, utility. Here, we'll customize this together. Okay. 60. Gamepad, please. That'd be great. Oh, are you trying to make me assign shit right now? Oh, fuck. You're making me assign shit right now? You are. Mother I gotta do all these keys. Um, okay. That's fine. Um...
left camera rotation. Eh, eh, I can't. The ghost assassin, thanks man. I, left camera rotation doesn't even, oh. Maybe, okay, there we go, there we go, we're good, we're good. Uh-huh, uh, I think those are just like for lower rising things. Um. All right, we'll see how this goes. If this game is good, I'll be happy. I have low expectations right now. Holy shit. All right, Penny Stein, you gotta stop now. Shh. Oh my god, this game is way too loud. the actual uh, dimensions for the screen here set. Uh, no, 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 please stop. There you go. Good. We are looking great. I need to change the name of the stream then. Uh, Cham Chantelis. Oh, falling. We're good. Alright, good. Excellent. Perfect. Let's go. Uh, sure. その夜の記憶は曖昧で、もしかして夢なんじゃないかなとさえ思える。月が赤い夜は外に出ちゃいけないよ。魔女に呪われてしまうからね。そんなおとぎ話をよく聞かされたっけ。5年前の月の赤い夜私たちは外にいたまるで何かに誘われるように外を歩いていたそんなに歩いていないはずなのに周りは知らない景色だった不安で泣きそうな私を姉さんはずっと励ましてくれたふと前を見ると赤い月に照らされて誰かが立っていた誰なのか確かめようとして目を凝らすと月の光はそれを遮るかのように寄り強く輝き出したSee I couldn't read much of that very well 気がつくと私たちはいつも遊んでいる見知った森の中にいたエリーゼエリーゼ私を呼ぶ姉さんの声がする私は声のする方を見たそこには心配している姉さんがいるはずだった they're expecting to see their worried sister. Instead, they found a fairy. It looks like Tinkerbell got animated. I'm trying to explain it for people who can't read this. this the witch's curse is obviously a fairy. And then... No more reading, it seems. Oh, and so begins the tale of two sisters, in case you can't read that. Looking good. Looking great. Ah, mm, so very tired. Come on, champ. Christ, you're huge in comparison. I mean, I get it, but... Chance? Not again. We've only been walking for half a day. There's a few hours till sundown still. We can't stop now. Give me a little bitty break here, Elise. And no, that ain't a height joke either. Once we cross these fields, we should reach a town, I think. Just a bit further, I know you can do it. Man, is that any way to be talking to your older sister? 
on each one. Wait a second. Oh ah, oh ah! Don't go down my hood. Hey, why not? This is comfy. Ain't like I'm heavy either. But cleaning out the dust you leave behind takes forever. What the? Is my super potent fairy dust just sparkly dandruff to you? Come here, Elise. My feet and your shins have a date to go on. Gasp. Shush. Huh? What it is? I think I just heard a woman scream. Did you? Oh no, I need help. That... The scream? Yeah, that's the sound of mortal terror, alright. We should go see what is it. This is really good so far. Hey, it's been a while since we got into a battle, yeah? You didn't remember how to fight, right? I don't want to hurry, but let's do a quick recap. Okay, first off, press button one. The, why? Oh my fucking god, no. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I swear to god, I'm not pressing a thing. <laughs> I can stop it by holding right? <laughs> but it keeps going if I do that. <laughs> this happened in fucking Dreamfall to me too. Let's see, I unplug my controller. No, still going, still going, still fucking going. <laughs> Holy shit! On. I can't move to my left anymore though because the fucking camera keeps turning. <laughs> there it goes! <laughs> no. Please stop! Please stop it! I can hold the camera button down. Okay. 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 Jump step. Is it? Okay. Whoosh. <laughs> Tommy does. We're just dodging. We practice slowly at the hang of it. Enough yappings. All right. <laughs> All right. We gotta get these slimes. Every Japanese game needs slimes. Not sure really why. Alright, I can work with this, honestly. I think I can. Who the fuck? Where did you come from? Hey. You okay? Yeah, thanks. That was a bit of a deal. Yeah. Hope you're grateful since we busted our butts to save you. If you want to make it up to us, you can give us a reward. Like a kiss on the cheek. Chante. Oh, well, have bad dinner at my place, Wink. Why? Well, didn't know. We couldn't possibly. Really, it's cool. I love the company, to be honest. You heard the lady? It's perfectly fine. Let's go, Miss, uh... I am Ira. Nice to meet you. Cool. Well, I'm Chante, and this is my baby sister, Elise. A pleasure to meet you, Miss Ira. Right. Well, I'm fucking hungry, so let's introduce Sing Louie to stop it and eat. Alright, I'll get there eventually. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, we didn't use any magic. Right, we did not. If you don't grab magic stones, I can't use them to blow stuff up, at least. Let me explain about magic. It's kind of complicated. You gotta sacrifice your brother. Okay, yeah. got it. That's it. I press button three. Um. Got it. Nice! Good shot! Good shot! I saw that. You hit that tree. Fire magic, one magic I can use depending on the color of stones you grab. Oh, and some spells can lock on and chase enemies to so make use of that. Now get this, I can use multiple stones at once. 
Grab all the stones on the ground here. You got it. Oh yeah. Now hold the button down. Alright. Now we'll get that tree. Go! Did you get it? I, I, we couldn't even see. It was too graphic. You killed a squirrel or something. I didn't want to show that. Just like that, you can use multiple stones together for bigger spells. Uh, but uh, I can only use two at once. Uh, huh. Oh, it says right here. There's apparently a fix. Reconfigure keyboard controls and put for camera rotate the same keys you use for left and right. For instance, put the left arrow for left and the for left you put do the same for what? Okay, you, okay, there's apparently a fix. That's good. However, I can handle this. It's been a while. We all slip up a bit every now and then. Don't worry, I'll get back eventually. Once a day, I can use a bunch of our stones together to do some stuff that'll really knock your socks off. Oh, and if you hold the button down a long time, the spell will cancel, though. Keep that in mind. Well, that's about all I have to say about magic. What we really need to do now is practice, so... Let's smash these critters down on the way to town. Come on, Elise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see, I can still work with this. Okay, I'll charge up. Hit. Oh, okay. Alright, go that. Got him. Oh, look at this, there's an over-map. Overworld map. That's good. Okay, if I just stop there, I can go forward. If I want to look over that way... Okay. So if I just hold this down, I can just hit him forward like this. Honestly, I can work around this even without going to fix the problem at hand. So, I think it's fine. We're good. You pick that up. Alright, so there's another guy to over here. Wait, did it change the direction? No, it didn't. Okay. Ah, here we go. You guys here? Got it. See? Anyone who complains about these is a baby. Except when you gotta really do some precise shit. But you know, that's fine. I don't even know where her house is. Where'd her house be? Is it right here? Does she live in a cave? That's terrible. Got it. Alright, let's see. She is not living in this cave. Actually, let's see. Can I save? I cannot save here. Once I get to a point where I can save, I'll try to do that fix. But for now, we can work with it. Alright, that looks green, so we might be able to hit that. Wait, can we chop grass? Hell yeah! Where's Zelda now? Oh, what? That's a nice sound. It's clean, crisp. Can chop trees. Stones. Charge all these. Oh, I can only do two. Fwatcha! Damn it. Of course. Okay, maybe we can't go in there either. Well, um, I guess we'll just kill all the slimes then, because they mentioned to do the slimes. There you go. Alright, let's get the guy over here. I'm sorry. Gang. This is literally a gang. You know, this is kind of amusing though, because this like further shows just how much bad luck I've been having with games and technical difficulties. Like Blood Rain 2 didn't work because the cutscenes didn't work because there's a huge issue with cutscenes. This game is having this camera issue. The premonition, it's just having an issue with recording because for some reason it's like, hey, if you're gonna be doing this, I'm gonna make your screen flicker wicked mad. <sighs> Crack on the Xbox One audio. I am I am all over the place lately, but good luck. Sarcasm. Oh, okay, now we can go through. We didn't have to kill everybody. for backslashes.
Well, come on in. Don't be shy. Thanks for letting us in, Ira. So, you're in an item shop of some sort. Yeah? Looks like it. It's a pretty nice place. Oh, thanks. You two must be very hungry. Let me get started on dinner right away. Item shop. Just like their last game. Here we go. Holy granola. Miss Ira, are you sure this isn't any trouble? Don't be silly, I'm fucking loaded. You didn't save me after all. Besides, it's far more fun to eat with the company. Well, you heard the lady. Let's dig in. My husband's dead. Cheers, Ira. I see. So you're searching for a witch. And your search led you to this town. That's right. I was wondering if you had any idea where we could... Oh, it didn't. Good. Well, uh, this town is surrounded by old ruins and the like. But I can't think of any particular place. It's just a person to hide. Sorry. No, it's cool. Really. Sweet. Heaven above. This is wonderful. A tongue-trembling flash of sweetness when you bite into it. The soft, gelatinous texture. It's so delicious. I think I'm gonna die from taste overload. Oh. So glad you like it. It's my special slime liver marinade, you see. Um, slime, what's it? Oh, no, 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 it's chill. I leached all the poison out ahead of time. What? No, no, don't leave any leftovers. Man, that was so good, but could have done without knowing what it was in it, though. No. Either way, though, no. I was amazing. She helped us out a lot. She reminds me a bit of you, Elise. Mainly because you character designs are very similar. Just more grown-up like. But really? But alright, enough flatter. Time to get down to the real detective work. Well, okay. Someone around here has to know something. Maybe. Hopefully let's grow the locals for info. Can I save now so I don't have to spin all day long? Yes! Okay. Now. See if I can fix this problem. This terrible, terrible problem. It's the worst problem of all time. Okay, so open this thing up, go to the configure thing, go to your gamepad, dealio. Up, right, down, left. Attack, jump, magic. Uh um come that one pause left camera rotation is this one this one I can't fine eh eh okay now We'll try our best to make this work. If this works, we'll be in the money. If it doesn't, we're not in the money. Considering my controller is not working with the game anymore, I have a bad feeling. No, no, we're in the money. We're in the money. Okay. We're in money. We're swimming. We're, no, we're not in money. Well, uh, looks like we're uh, doing well. I don't uh, see much progress being made. I will say, though, I'm quite impressed with the spray work here. It looks nice. Very well done. Good sprites. Good animations. Interesting design choices here, using sprites in the 3D world. Um, it's uh, pretty good. Hold right the whole time and fix this problem, but that ain't happening. If 
you do it right before you hit the ground, you move forward. And sometimes you do some kind of crit. Isn't that something? Maybe I could talk to this child about this situation. Wow, a fairy. She looks like a bug. I know, right? Thanks for agreeing with me. Well. Shit. <laughs> yeah, let's, try. let's try a different game. <laughs> That's so, so, so far two for two for games not working today. I like- I, I honestly do. I, I like the uh, the style of the game. It looked pretty neat. I think that has potential, but for right now it's not working for me, as you can plainly tell. So, uh, we're back to uh, looking for something to do again. Here. Let me, uh... Uh, put this puppy back on here. Come on. No, you gotta do- it. no, no, silly. Here. This thing. There you go. Thanks. There you go. Okay. Good. And, uh... Oh wait, I gotta get some songs here. Let's see. You know what? Here. We'll go over here. Uh, we'll put in... We'll put in... Uh... Fuck. Most anime OSC of all time. Uh, looks like uh, we're gonna get top 10 most beautiful anime soundtracks. Alright, sounds good. Alright, good. That's what we'll be listening to while we're waiting. Good. Sounds good. Alright. Let's find something again. Uh, this puppy here. Not a bad game, though. It's just technical issues, like usual. Uh, closure. Not sure what that was again. I think that was that 2D game. Remember this one? I remember that one. I remember that one. Alright. Cranky Cat. Crayon physics. I remember that game. That's a classic. Uh, Reseteer. I've already beaten Reseteer, actually. I like that game. Dark Souls 2. You remember when this game was a thing? I apparently did 52 hours of it. Huh. Weird. Dark Siders 2. Only did 3 hours. Felt like it did a lot longer, though. Ah, well. Ah. Uh, crackers. Dead Island, Dead Island, Riptide, 27 hours of epidemic. Goodness gracious. This thing's still in there. Doesn't fucking work. But it's in there. Dinner date, that's a classic. That's a classic video. Two, that was three years ago. Holy shit. I've been doing this for way too long. Guys, Honey Pop can't be streamed. It's, it's, uh, yeah, if you do it on Twitch, you can get banned or suspended, so I'd rather not deal with that situation. Disillusion's Mega Horror. Apparently the multiplayer is a thing now. I totally gotta do that on stream one day. DMC Double My Cry. Eh, I don't like the reboot. That's just me, though. Do it at 2, 158 hours, because I'm a freaking loser. Double Action Boogaloo. Eh, that was a mad video. Double Dragon Neon. I played uh, the original on a pirated copy because I was a scumbag, dirty person when it came out. So uh, that doesn't that doesn't relate to me. Dragon Ball Xenoverse. It's a uh, 37 hours. Not bad. Not bad. Dragon's Lair. Never actually. You know what? We'll do Dragon's Lair. I've never actually played it before. We're gonna do Dragon's Lair. Let's fucking do it. Stream skin? I'm using Pixel Vision, I think it's called. Ugh. God damn. Here, Titan Souls is pretty neat. I see this game right here. I like this game. Not a lot of people like it, but I like it. Okay. Now we gotta change the title of this stream again. There we go. Uh. Uh. 
Bluth. Bluth, where are you? Update. There we go. Uh, cease and desist, ma'am, or woman, or person. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's Mira and Nikki. I know that show. That show's fucking weird. Anyway, uh. Now, I gotta launch this son of a bitch. Can I put you in window mode? Probably not. Probably not. Let's see. I'm gonna put this motherfucker. I'll go move this. I'll move this. Hey, boop. Oh god. Oh no. Stop. Shush. Shush. God damn. Don't do that. God. Freaking me out here. Alright, are you working? Do I have to call your parents? The fuck? Ah, oh, come on. Come, come on. There it is. Where is the mix? Crank it down. Like half. Christ. This that's still too loud. Holy shit. God damn. Alright, there. That's that I don't even fucking know anymore. Uh, Alright. Window capture. Fuck. Oh, you get that window. You get the freaking window. Come on. Are you fucking serious? Come on! Oh my... Oh my god. It's not... Oh my god. Are you fucking serious? It's not working? It's a purple screen? Are you fucking... You see, there's my mouse. You can see the mouse. But for some reason, it's not capturing the window now. Okay. okay. It shows purple on here too? That's the window right there! It shows purple? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I, on my end, I see the game. But on this part, it's purple. How <laughs> the fuck? This is the third game! This is the third game in a row! <laughs> Fuck, man. <sighs> well, whatever. I don't even care. Fuck. Here, I'll keep that shit open. I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna pull this open. Fuck. Alright. That game didn't work either. Fuck. Okay. Alright. What else you got? What else you got? Anything of interest? I tried to play this game at one point. Halfway through I realized it sucked. It's epigenesis. No, I have think it was meh. I wasn't feeling it. That game was eh. Remember Evolve? I remember that game. Fear. I need to play Fear 2 one of these days. I played Fear and I played Fear 3 and I hated Fear 3, but Fear 2 apparently is good. Fable Lost Chapters. I only played 11 minutes of it? I streamed that for several streams. You're a fucking liar. Holy shit, that was literally like a year ago. Jesus. Time flies by really fast. Uh, let's see here. Looking good. Looking good. Five Nights at Freddy's. Whoa. Flat out two. Flockers. It's made by the people who made worms, by the way. Uh, this one didn't work at all. Bye. Uh, there's Forge. That was a fun game. The Forest. Out of 
big fan. Forced was not bad either. Uh, let's see, Game Dev Tycoon. I preferred the uh, Kairosoft Game Dev game myself. Mm. Mm hmm. Gender Bender, that was a. This is a classic. I don't even know who this is. Oh, it's Minx. She changed her uh, icon. This is a classic game. I have Gish on Steam. I didn't know that. Huh. Neat. How about some Warframe? Uh, I'd have to install it, and it's a pretty big download. Hmm. Dawn. Oh, yeah, I forgot I even had Grim Dawn. I haven't even tried that yet. Eh, uh, I'm not in the mood for an action RPG right now, though. Fuck Melee, that was a fun game. Guardians of Middle Earth. Oh, I played this shit in high school, I think it was. It was like the strategy game. That was pretty fun. Gunpoint, this is a great game. If you haven't played Gunpoint, you should try that game out. I fucking love that game. Uh, Gunman Clive. I apparently bought it a year ago. Huh. This is lovely. Who sings? This is Last Exile. I remember that show. That wasn't a bad show. Go back to the shit though. Mm. Let's see. Hard reset. Meh. Hammer watch. Meh. Hammer fight. Meh. Hector. I don't remember that. I don't know why I have it, but I have it. Probably a humble bundle. What's this show? Or game? What is this? What the hell? What is this? Why do I own this? Is it like free? No, I bought this. What is this shit? Unforgettable voyage, the new world. Met what? What is this? Hylene, cute 18 years old English girl. She has a quiet life without any real problems. But one day her uncle Otto, a famous English merchant, decides that it is time for a change and forces her to follow him on a journey to the new world. During the voyage, she'll meet old and new friends and discover lots of secrets and ultimately find what really wants. What? And ultimately find what really wants for herself. Okay. Lots of unique characters to interact with, and three different endings. You know what? This is terrible sounding. I want to play it. Watch it work, too. Watch it work in comparison to all this other shit. I, can, I, can, I got this shit. I got this shit. We got this. I believe in all of us. I gotta change this again. Eileen. Go. And we're gonna be um, pirates need pants too. There we go. Good title. Uh, should be done downloading anytime now. I don't think I'm gonna need my uh, gameplay gamepad for this. Alright. So, we're gonna take salty bets right now of this working or not. Um, I'm, I'm a bit curious if it will or won't. Who knows? I don't. But, uh, holy shit, can you download the last percent, please? <laughs> You're just going down and down and down. This is worse than 56k. Come on. Thank you. That took you long enough. There you go. There we go. Okay, alright, so far so good. Alright, it even has its own jams. Fuck yeah, they're loud as hell though. Alright, crank it down a little bit like there, I'd say. Okay, alright, alright. 
There. Now we should be good. We should be good now. Okay. I'm looking forward to this so far. So far, can I get can, can I get this to 1080? Alright, looks terrible, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Alright. I'm looking forward to this. It seems like it's gonna work. I'm looking forward to it. There we go! There we go! Okay! 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 Alright, we're good. Whew! Okay. Let's go, team. How to play. You can use the page up and- Who uses page up and page down? No one. No one uses those. Here, let's keep the- let's keep the songs going on here. Um, here. Beautiful, sad, euphoric, relaxing anime OSTs. No, we need something upbeat. Upbeat anime OST. Uh, top 20 greatest anime OST with epic scenes. Whatever. Alright. Play it. Good. If that's the case, I kind of want to turn off the music in this game, but we'll see. Uh, clicking on the right mouse button will bring up the game menu. Finally, if you're replaying the game in search, the music's too loud. There we go. There we go. We should be fine now. Okay. Uh, right clicking, bring up the menu. Uh, so, can I right click now? And then go in here. Get rid of that. Okay. Uh, control will fast forward through text you've already seen. Okay. Ah. Uh. <coughs> Oh, hey Flux Monkey, thanks. <coughs> Ugh, I'm so nauseous. Why does my uncle Otto insist he needs me on this trip? He's a prominent English merchant born in Prussia. He's been a traveler throughout his entire life. It's normal for him to travel, but why does he need me to go? And why are we traveling all the way to America? It's imperative that you accompany me to the new world. You must open yourself up to new experiences, Eileen. But what if I'm not interested? I'm fine here in Liverpool. I've been exposed to new things enough already. I'm sure I'll get ill by some new disease. I've heard all the stories. <laughs> Look at your face, Eileen. You're so scared. You don't honestly believe everything you hear, do you? Well, Mary has been my best friend since we were young. I used to play with her as a child. This shit is kind of overpowering right now. Holy fuck. Calm down. You know what? Fuck it. Attack on Titan OSC. Let's go. Good enough for me. Uh, we lost touch when I lost my parents and had to go to live with my Uncle Otto. She always made me feel special. Look at that face. Look at this. She's really more of a sister to me than just a friend. Mary! How long has it been since we've seen each other? You've changed so much. But what are you doing here? Are you going with us on the trip? Yeah. It was your uncle's idea. He thought you'd feel safer if I tagged along. Oh. So. So do you feel safer now? Oh, now we get to choose. I, I have to admit you're right, welcome aboard, or honestly, no, I'm not a child anymore. Huh. I. I feel safer with you around my side. Aw, we got. Aw, look at that! We got a little relationship meter. We're gonna kiss her on the lips. With our lips, which look a bit awkward because we're looking to the side right now, like we're mischievous. Excellent. Now that's the Eileen I know and love. Come on, let's go. They're waiting for us. Alright, seems that's the only option left to us. Chapter 1 Sail Away. The pristine morning air, the warm light of the rising sun, the sound of waves. The slight swaying of the ship. The frantic preparations for departure. A journey to new lands and to the unknown. New experiences, 
Maybe my uncle was right. Even though living secluded in my own little world of routine brings me peace of mind, I would never live life to its fullest. Wow. Wow. Pardon me, ladies. He's handsome. This trip is already getting interesting. Pleased to meet ya. My name's John. See you on the ship. He leaves to ready the ship. What a body. Finished daydreaming, Eileen? Your uncle would never allow you to marry a common sailor like him. Sorry for putting an end to your fantasies. <laughs> Not even gotta read the other ones. Yeah, well that's true. But is he actually interested in you? Of course. Didn't you see the way he was looking at me? You're <laughs> such a cliche! Fuck. Whoa! Hey! Saunters off. <laughs> <sighs> Who is that man? I think he's the man your uncle wants you to marry. What? <laughs> this game is great. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> Come on, I was joking. He's one of those indentured servants. You know how it works, right? No? What a surprise! Thought you know since you're Otto's niece. These are people who want to enter into the new world but can't pay for the trip themselves. They're usually the scum of society. To get to the new world, they enter a contract with a merchant or a captain of a ship that transports them. Once they arrive, their contract is auctioned off. Then they're treated like slaves by their employers until the deadline. So, they're slaves from here. Well, to some extent, yeah. The contracts typically last several years. At the end of the contract, the employer must give them a sum of money or land to cultivate so they can make a living of their own. Well, I never thought I would have. I, that's actually not a bad deal. That's not a bad deal at all. Like, if you like really want to get out of here and you have no money. You know, just sacrifice a few years and bam, you got- They give you land and stuff so you can make a living of your own after the do it's done. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Never thought I'd meet someone like that. They're a bit spooky. Indeed, not exactly the kind of person I'd like to be alone tonight with. You are so an uncle. Eileen! Mary. Good. So you two have found each other already. Huh. Uh, yep. Why? Well, because you've been living with me since we were ten years old and you've never once gone with me anywhere. And the second, because it's about time that you move your lazy butt outside of Liverpool. <laughs> your uncle's right. Now excuse me, princess. I'm keeping Captain Adam waiting. But, uncle, what about my luggage? What? It's all there on the pier, Eileen. Yeah, I know. But they're heavy. I don't care. Next time, don't bring useless baggage with you. His face got redder, or is that just me? I don't know. He might be holding his breath. Wow. I don't recall your uncle being like that. What a gentleman. Yeah. New quest added. Get your shit! You discovered a new quest! Request your secondary objectives that you'll be able to discover during the game. It's possible to finish the game without discovering and completing all the quests. Though if you do, you lose a chance to see special and hidden events. Every time you uncover a new quest, your score will increase by two. If you manage to solve it, your score will increase by additional three points for a total of five points. Some quests can only be completed under certain conditions. If you fail them, you won't be awarded those three extra points. At the end of the game, you'll be awarded for a special title based on the score you got. Holy sh-
shit! What the hell? It's coming through those soulless eyes. But the body of a goddess. I don't understand how this works. From afar, I see a familiar figure. Dread. She waves to us. Hello, darlings. Laura, my uncle's mistress. He's never married, and often used to pay. Alright, this music is a bit overpowering here. Calm down. Calm down. Chill. Relax. Fuck it, we're doing Studio Ghibli music now. Relaxing piano. It's perfect for this. Excellent. Okay. <sighs> He's never married, and often used to pay visits to brothels. But since he met her a few years ago, he seems to have been loyal to her. I can't stand her. But to be fair, she's always very kind to me, regardless of the fact that I'm always trying to avoid her. Who is she, Ellie? She's a hussy. Aw, oh, aw, oh, damn. I could poke fun at her right now, or I could be like, You seriously don't know who that is? You seriously don't know who that is? What is this? I'm gonna. You know what? I'll be nice to her, even though my character is like, I hate her. I'll be like, you know what? I won't be your friend now. No, I can't. But she's not shy at all. Going half naked like that. So do you do know her? Well, she is sort of an entertainer that my uncle frequently. Oh, Otto. I didn't think he would mingle with that kind of people. It's a pleasure to see you again, Eileen. You get more beautiful every day. Are you ready to board the cat's dream? Um, is that what the ship's called? That's a funny name. Oh my god. Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Lori gets closer and starts to look at me carefully from the top to the bottom, circling around me. The humiliation, the floundering of my words being flustered out of my mind. This is why I don't like being with her. Oh, look at you. What a nice dress and your cute face. You have such marvelous as your eyes. A pity it's not a man giving me all these compliments. I wonder how many men will be after you. You do have a boyfriend, right? I can see John getting closer from behind her. My heart's starting to pound wildly. Well, I'm single at the moment so John can hear me say this. Ah, who knows? Maybe you'll find someone during this trip. Maybe the love of a lifetime. John passes us. I wonder if he heard anything. Good day. Good day to you, my good-looking sir. Ugh. Ah, uh, how shameless. Using every chance she gets. John is struggling and failing to look away. I'm being completely ignored. Sigh. I have to... Go put my luggage in the cabin. Bye, darlings. Did you see how John was watching her? Yeah, I saw. So, the less a woman wears, the more interesting they are, is it? Huh. Well, she is quite the woman. Voluptuous, sociable, full of life. You have to give it to her, I guess. <laughs> are you done? Yeah. I understand. I should shut up. Thank you. Now forgive me. I need to unpack my stuff too. See you later. <laughs> the fuck are these cliches? I head to my cabin with my luggage. In the distance, John is talking with a funny looking man who appears to be a cook. I will eavesdrop. Really? Yeah, I swear. She's like a Greek aphrodisiac. Men are so... I bet John is talking about Laura. But here, on this ship, you're sure? Marco, I told you. Why, you don't believe me? No, no, I... Surely you know more about women than me. Never once have I seen pretty women around here. To say the truth, I've never seen any woman here on this ship ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That John is probably a womanizer. I'm going now. Check the supplies. Say hi to your clear-eyed beauty and give her a kiss from me only a kiss oh yeah he's going put dick in her they both part their ways clear-eyed beauty i have azure eyes 
Laura has blue ones, but they're not exactly clear. New quest added. What is it? Uh, let's see. Make Otto embarrassed. Otto. That man will face my retribution. Yeah, that's it. I'll shame him in front of an entire crew. He deserves it. Why? Clear eyed beauty. I wonder who was John referring to. Who knows? I absent mindedly enter my cabin. Finally. I can't wait to rest. I'm already tired from before we even left. Meow. Black cat. There's a black cat in my room. Help! <laughs> I'm gonna come get you. <laughs> the cat, probably frightened by my calls, flees the cabin. They call me black, and indeed I am a black... They have talking cats now. Alright. I live aboard this ship, the cat's dream, with my owner, Captain Adam. He says he hates cats, and that my only purpose is to catch rats. But I'm sure that deep down he loves me, as with the rest of the crew. Forgive me, Adam. It's my cat, Black. He likes to sneak inside cabins to sleep on the soft beds. Haha. <laughs> Insolent, perhaps. But not stupid, don't you agree? Eileen, is everything alright? What happened? There was a black cat inside my cabin that's right there, floating next to you. And? Captain Adam dismisses himself, making a slight bow with his head. Um. Well, um. It was just a black cat, so it's chill. You're always the same. Now excuse me, I have to go to my cabin. I'm unbelievably tired. See ya. What's all the noise? A cat. Helene, avoid wasting time with this stupid beast. There's a lot of things to tidy up in the cabin. Get a move on. Uncle definitely doesn't love animals. John's gone. I'm really starting to hate my uncle. Otto. Don't scold a little one that way. I'll tidy up her cabin. By the Dickens, did she just call me the little one? Then why does she want to clean my cabin? Ah, oh, I, 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 thank you very much. I want to be nice because you're nice. She's, she's only been nice. She's just, she just gets around. Oh, of course. Sorry. I just thought that you could get acquainted with the crew while I arranged everything there. That excuse to try to rip through my most intimate secrets. And then she'd make it into a joke on the ship. She could forget about that. No, I'm very sleepy and prefer to sleep than walk around. Sure thing, darling. Sleep well, kisses. Dear Lord, she kisses up with no shame. That hussy. I close the door behind me, alone at last. It's a bit dark inside here, but I managed to put everything in place. She definitely isn't... Or this definitely isn't a voyage of luxury. But the bed seems comfortable enough, contrary to my expectations. I lie down in bed. I feel the ship setting sail, moving away from the quay. I feel thrilled, knowing that, in a sense, I can't turn back. I have to admit it, I'm just a bit afraid. Guess now's a good time to get some sleep. It's just going to be a long trip ahead of me. Dots. What's that whispering? It's coming from somewhere far away. I get up and try to find where it's coming from. Chapter 2. First Kiss. Putting my ear to the wall, the voice becomes clearer. Oh, Otto, you're so restrictive. What? What about the little show you just did in front of everybody? Laura? Otto, they're having a discussion. It's child's play, you know that. That's how I have fun. Well, I'm not. Interesting. My cabin is next to theirs. They probably don't know I can hear them from talking from here. Better keep this to myself. I could use this to my advantage later on. Huh? Someone's knocking at my cabin door. I wonder who could it be? Hmm. We'll peer. I go close to the door. The wood is really dreadfully old and cracked, so much that I can see the person on the other side. Mary. Mmm, fine. 
I open the door slightly since I'm still in my pajamas. Hi, were you sleeping? Yawn. Yeah. Don't you see? I'm still half asleep. What time is it? What a face. What do you think, guys? What? Guys? Pleasure, Eileen. I'm Marco. And I'm John, but we've already met before, haven't we? Oh. Are we setting up some kind of weird... Four? Alright. I'm so angry. They're all looking at me now, half asleep and still a mess. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, you were really sleeping soundly. Sorry, I shouldn't have woken you. It's half past ten, so I thought you'd sleep in the, uh, slept, slept enough. Come on. We go. She should sleep a bit more. I really wish everyone, John in particular, didn't see me like this. Uh, yeah, thank you. I really do need to sleep a little more. It was a pleasure seeing you again. I smile weakly and look at his eyes without saying anything. I've really fallen for him. I can hear their loud voices coming from outside. What a ruckus. Can we go in Laura's cabin now? Let's go. She probably sleeps naked. You're always the same. Anyway, Otto's with her. Ah, never mind then. There's no more new women to meet, is there? At last, their voices fade away. I go back to sleep as tired as a jaded horse. A few hours later. Ah! Oh, ah, that was refreshing. I don't know why I have that face on right now, though. After a little refre uh, freshening up, I'm ready to find out what awaits me outside my cabin. There's Mary. She was waiting for me. Why is she smiling like that? In that visit a few hours ago. Mary has always been so shy. So much more than myself. How is it she's so outgoing? Um, I see you didn't waste time and you have friends already. Are you jealous? Sorry, what, what? About the fact that I'm more outgoing and sociable than you? You know, that's not a fact. It's just your opinion, ma'am. Whatever you say. Anyway, it's breakfast time. I'll show you the dining hall. She leads me to a big hall where everyone is eating. There's a lot of people in this little room. There's a lot of people here. So many people. And here's where the crew eats. We're in the adjacent room. I spot John in the midst of all the people, but he's too busy speaking with another crew member to notice me. Oh. Excluding John. The crew members are hideous. He doesn't fit here at all. I wonder why he's a sailor. Yeah, I agree. Ah, uh, the other crew members really are ugly old men. Scary, too. After I finish my soup, I'm gonna ask why he became a sailor. Don't you think that question's too personal? Too personal? We're close friends now. Close friends? But you just met. To be honest, we talked a lot this morning. Just him and I. Marco had to go prepare the food. Talked a lot. For how long? Hmm, at least 40 minutes. Maybe an hour. She watches me to see my reaction. She's trying to get me jealous. Oh, you did it. You did it. You're just like that kind of person who you're just like, Hey, yo, I'm gonna go hang out with my friend who's a guy. I see you later. He's a guy. You like that kind of person. You one of thems. You're a dick. I'm gonna hang out with Laura instead of you from now on. Ugh. That's good. What you talk about? Oh, lots of things. He asked me so many questions. And? He's really interested in me. Hey, uh, what's up? Are you jealous, perhaps? Me? Why would I be jealous? Well, it's obvious. Because of how close I am to John. Hmm. I'm sure John loves me. <laughs> Listen, you just casually met yesterday. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, he loves me. <laughs> suddenly becomes serious. Mary, she doesn't even reply. Oh no! <laughs> Worth it. Wow. She wasn't joking then. She really fell in love with John. This is bad. I don't want to have an antagonistic relationship with her. I can understand why John would be attracted to someone like Laura, but Mary and Mantha Nee. Thank you, man. I'm sure they can just be friends, but nothing more. He never looks at her in that way, as he does with me and Laura, unfortunately. I should find a way to have Mary open her eyes before things actually get heated. New quest added. Ruin your friendship over a guy. Poor Mary, in love with John. I honestly don't believe she has a chance with him. But unfortunately, she does. For her sake, and my own, I have to show her the truth. But how? Fuck John. Just go and fuck him right now. <laughs> <laughs> this face! While you're looking at the food, everything looks delicious! <laughs> Holy shit. This game is fucking perfect. I look up and notice that Mary actually looks disgusted. What's troubling you now? Don't you like the chicken? Well, I... I don't... Eat meat. What? Are you crazy? I realize I've inadvertently attracted the attention of all our table mates to Mary. Oh. Hey, no problem, man. I need to bring you fruits and veggies. Oh, thanks, Marco. You're so kind. We'll be back in a minute. The others resume me talking stuff. Some things to hear are what a lass. Odd, odd. What are you thinking these days? And that may be true. But if it's more for us, dear God, how can I put in such a situation? Are you happy now? Oh my God. Being a vegan isn't that big of a deal. Holy shit. It, calm, calm down. Oh, relax. <sighs> Mary's eyes are so glassy. She's crying. Oh no. You know what? I'll have some fruits and veggies, too. Yeah. Makes up for the fact that we're both going for the same guy. It's gonna be a weird triangle. And if Marco's involved, it'll be a weird square. Oh, good. At least I won't be the only one eating them now. Mary doesn't reply. But she stops crying. After a few minutes, Marco comes back with our dishes. I have to admit that he really is a great cook. Mary and I finish eating without talking. Laura, on the opposite end of the table, continues to captivate her audience. What a blessing it is to sit so far away from her. I'm just imagining she's just like lap dancing everybody. All of a sudden, I hear loud noises coming from nearby. Screams. Claps. Just a general rumpus. What are they doing over there? Don't worry. It's only the crew having a bit of fun. Having fun? Arm wrestling. Oh heard about that, but I've never actually seen it. You can come see with me if you want, you two. It wouldn't be safe to send you there alone. He nods for Mary and I to follow him. The show before my eyes certainly isn't very pleasant. A crowd of exasperated sailors, with two of them in the center of the room. I look carefully at the two sailors. One of them is John. I take bets. What's yours? What do you, what do you mean? Mary and you, who will be the winner? Who John and Jack? I'm sure John will win. I, I bet on him. Um, I'll bet on John too. 
I don't know why, but I knew you were gonna say that. Bitch. Two contenders start the fight. The two contenders start the fight, and Jack takes the lead initially. Seeing his rock-hard muscles inflate is quite a sight to behold. Then John seems to catch up. And they're even again. Consider... Now John seems to be winning. It's incredible, considering the muscles on those two. Go, John. You'll beat the loudish Jack. What? Never seen Mary so wild before. The scene finally dawns on me. A big crowd of filthy sailors that root for either John or Jack, waving their arms, creating so much noise. One close to me spits on the floor. Another one smashes a bottle, spilling wine on the table. I feel a bit nauseated. I'm starting to think that Uncle Otto was right about this sort of people. Come on, John! Yeah, he likes that. He likes that. Yeah, you like me rooting for you. John makes an enormous effort and with a vast move manages to bend Jack's arm down, winning the match against all odds. Beginner's luck. And I was distracted by that screaming of those two little bitches. What? What did you call us, you uncivilized ape? Jack looks and heads towards us without saying a word. Um, Mary, I don't think it's a good idea to anger him. Hey, what are you doing fighting with women? You hit the bottom, huh? You're right. But maybe I'll smash your face instead of theirs. Uh, did you see that? Such valor. Defending me from Jack. Oh. Um. Um. Relax. Luckily, Captain Adam is here. You are no longer looking at Mary and I. Hey, what's going on? Dude, Jack, um, do I gotta remind you that if you damage my ship or injure a sailor, your contract is void. Hmph, alright. Uh, uh, okay, I'm leaving. Jack leaves the hall. Mary runs to John's side. His arm looks swollen and painful. John, are you alright? Look, look, she dares to be so close to him? What if... What if she's right about John? That is interested in her too. Indeed, she's... It's been less than 24 hours. Probably. Indeed, she's too close to be close friends. Strong perfume. What's all the hubbub? Maybe. Maybe Laura came at the right moment for once. Hmm. Look at it. Oh, poor darling. I'll take care of him. Laura moves close to John. He instantly turns his head towards her. Your right arm hurts, right? Let me massage it for you. But Mary is completely ignored by John now. Though, it's almost pathetic. It feels good, doesn't it? Up and down. Up and down. Do you feel better, darling? Oh, yeah. I definitely feel better. Laura's gone too far. What in the Lord's name does she think she's doing? I have to get her away from John. Good. You don't feel pain anymore. What if I feel pain again later? John, that bastard. What the heck is this crying? <laughs> Thanks. This is, this is Eileen. What do you think it is? Sure. Laura provoked him, but I must do something. Before I can think or do anything, Laura moves away herself. I have a special remedy against that. Looking at me. I'll give the ointment to Eileen, which she'll use later in case your arms start turning again. You'll get a good massage from her. Needless to say, my cheeks are flushed. Even John is a little embarrassed, and Laura's looking at me and laughing. I'm sorry. But I have to go back to the other room. Fair, darlings. Mary, crying, runs out of the hall, hiding her face. Poor girl. This really must have been quite a shock. <laughs> Can I just say that the main character is the biggest bitch? This is literally the 
bitchiest thing. This is so fucked up. It's just like, oh, you're my childhood friend. I met this guy yesterday. Get the fuck back. It's like, are you fucking serious? This is ridiculous. This is like the worst main character I have ever seen in a game. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Fuck it. That's... I... I don't know. I don't know what to say. I have thousands of thoughts running through my mind, but I can't speak a single word. How embarrassing. Almost all the other sailors are gone. Some to smoke, others to take a nap. There are really a few people inside here now. Lucky for me, Marco, who is watching from far away, notices my embarrassment and steps forward. Oh, John, what, hey, what's up? Yeah. Now. Now that Eileen is here, me, I feel much better. Oh. I was almost forgetting, I have a lot of dishes to wash. Forget me, later. John comes closer. He's determined. Hi. That's the only word I managed to say. Hello, beautiful one. Oh my fucking god. You're putting it on so hard. You're putting it on so hard. You want that ointment. You do so bad. I'm glad that you came to see me. Oh, look at that. Look at the bar go up and up and up. If I won, it's only because of your support. Oh, look at look at this! It's just going! It's skyrocket! Like his dick! Oh, I don't think so, really. I'm telling you, it's the truth. But, before I can even finish, he's in front of me, ready to kiss me. Ah, fuck it. I close my eyes and let him kiss me. It's not a passionate kiss, though it is my first one. I'm, I'm a bit clumsy, so much that John starts to laugh. Tell me. Is this your first kiss? Yeah, but... <laughs> I see. That's... that's right. He was trying to seduce Laura. I'm sorry for not being good at this. Dude, I'm fucking tearing up right now. I think you should try with Laura. Surely she's more experienced than me. I... Thank you for my first kiss. Goodbye, John. <laughs> This is... Oh, you're special. You're a special little tulip. Holy shit, that... You have wicked jealousy issues, honey bun. I ran out crying to you. Bang the cut! <laughs> Alright, if I can, I'll go for Marco. <laughs> I'm not crying too. I have to find Mary. Uh, I run outside. I started looking around for Mary. Mary, where could she be? Crying. I hear crying behind the corner. Mary and Otto, what are they? I should stay and listen for a bit. Are you serious, Mary? Yes. That's impossible, all the time I've spent. And for what? What are they talking about? And she falls in love with the first uncouth sailor she meets. She's really out of her mind. I'll take care of her myself. Now it's clear what they're talking about. Mary talked about John and I. Sigh. Mary knows that Otto wants me to marry a noble, and at least a merchant like him. Hmm. Well, he could be talking about me or John. Or you could be talking about Laura and John. Mm, I'll keep it now. I'll keep this information for myself. Let's see what else they say. I, I'm not really sure, honestly. What? What exactly did she do? She moved close to John, and she mis. Yep, Laura. She massaged his arm, and then what else? Um, uh, 
Mary, I thought you were smarter, that's all. Stupid woman. Don't waste my time with such nonsense. A massage, like it was something. Idiot. She was talking about Laura. I must talk to Mary. I wait for Otto to leave and step forward. Mary seems quite surprised to see me. Why are you here already? What do you mean? I thought you wanted to stay with John. A tear rolls down her cheek as she says this. No, I'm not interested in him anymore. At least, not now. That man really is a womanizer. Really? Yeah, and there's also another thing he must know. I'm aware. I'm aware that he doesn't like me. Yay! Huh? You knew. Well, I'm not as stupid as your uncle suggests. I had my suspicions, but now you can tell me. I'm absolutely positive. I believe you. It's not hard. Nobody likes me. What are you saying? That, that's not true. Yeah, it is. I'm the archetype. Or that archetype. The polite girl that everyone likes only as a friend. Oh. <laughs> Do you like me at least? What? We're still friends? Of course you shouldn't ask. Aw, she runs up and embraces me tightly with her arm. Just that one. This one stays. This one right there that's wrapped around. If she squeezes me any tighter, I'll only be able to support her in the afterlife. Funny. Wasn't she supposed to support me during the long journey? Mary puts her arm around my neck, staring into my eyes. Staring into my eyes. Is she... Is she... Traveling southward? What... What are you doing? What... What are you... What are you doing? Nonplus that can only stand still? She's slowly... Oh my god! Hey! Wait a second! We are rebounding left and right here! <laughs> what the fuck? This triangle became a line! She slowly moves her head closer to mine. She... <laughs> She kisses me on the lips. Well, um, alright then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gently. Absurd. My first kiss with a man and shortly after another woman. Truly a record. I'm a hussy now. Whoa. I've never seen that in either old country, new country, or on a ship. We both start to laugh. Where are you going, Marco? I have a critical mission. And that would be to peel potatoes. Accurately, a basket of potatoes. Okay, I'm helping. What I mean is, I'll be sitting next to you and watching, faithfully boosting your morale. Well, I cannot hope for anything better. Follow me, dear one. Mary waves to me goodbye with a smile. Mary is leaving with a man. I feel relieved. For a moment, I was thinking strange thoughts about our friendship. Thinking about it, I realized how close I was to ruining my long friendship with Mer, Mer Mary for nothing. Exactly. John is nothing to me in this moment. A bastard womanizer, ignorant and without hope. Even if I have to admit that he kisses well. Thinking about it, I don't have any other boys to compare him to. Though he's better than Mary for sure. It was a long day of bisexual surprises. I can't wait to help. Or sleep. Help. Whatever. <sighs> this is a weird game, dude. <laughs> this is a lot weirder than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever. <sighs> oh, fucking weeks. Jesus. Several weeks have passed since I last talked to John. The ship is an open sea. Sometimes we pass through in a small storm. It's happened a few times. Each time I get scared out of my wits. John and I ignore each other. Or at least we try. Even if we meet on the ship inevitably. I don't know what to say. I am sorry, in a way. 
But thinking about it, we're probably better off this way. Damn. Those are classy. Though Mary almost never leaves me alone. Luckily, she helps Marco out in the kitchen. I wonder if... Hello. Want to take a walk on the deck with me? I don't know. I literally have nothing on, almost. Come on, it, it's great. I just... Seriously, I just woke up. I know. That's a really nice set of lingerie. She's looking at my body in an odd fashion. Better dress up and follow her outside. I dressed hastily. Hastily. After that, she practically drags me out of the cabin. Resisting. I don't see anything wrong in resisting. But I don't see any good in it either. <laughs> Silent Bob's really uncool cousin. As soon as we're outside, a funny, fat stump man of a man greets us. Hello there, girls. Um, who are you? My name is Bert. Pleased to meet you. Um, my pleasure. I thought you were joking when you said there was some beautiful woman aboard. Uh, what do you think of going where it's warm and showing me around your cabins? Oh. Uh, wonderful idea, isn't it? Well, to be honest... Bert! Come here. Finish cleaning the deck, you dog. Okay, okay. Understand, I'm coming. See you, ladies. Wink. How can he even dare to request such a thing? I'm so un unhappy with this. Like, I really hope I never see him again. Continues to stare at me. We go up to the stern to be better admire the sea. Looks good. Waves are either swept beneath the waters or to the horizon. It's windy and chilly. Not my kind of weather. Mary turns her head to me and starts looking at me carefully. What are you doing? What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. Nothing? Haha. <laughs> okay, I confess, I was looking at your face. You're beautiful. First Laura, and then her. I don't understand why women are so attracted to me. I'm just a cis scum. What's wrong with all of you people? Still, looking, she stretches her arm and reaches for me. Do nothing. Her hand gently caresses my face, starting from the forehead down to the nose and lips. I'm so envious. Damn. Damn. Why? What are you saying? Why? Because you're so beautiful. Perfect in every way. Every munite. And I'm so... So what? Hero Senpai. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. When I'm with you, haven't you noticed? Everyone looks at you instead of me. Oh. Um. Um. Maybe it's just your dress, because it looks pretty, uh... Well, you've been wearing the same clothes the whole time. I have, too. But... It's cool, man. My clothes? Yeah, maybe that's... Uh, maybe, yeah. It's gotta be it. There's a short pause between us. No. I don't think that's it. Mary silently resumes watching the sea. The wind is blowing harder and harder. There are tears going down Mary's face. I don't like seeing her cry like this. Take my handkerchief. Thank you, you're so kind. She hands me back my handkerchief. Perhaps we should go back inside. The wind is too strong here. Speak of the devil. A gust of wind blows the handkerchief out of my hand. Mary jumps to catch it. She's successful, but she's on the other side of the parapet now. H help. I'm gonna fall. Help me, Eileen, please. Well, what should I do? She could fall at any moment. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> as terrified as I am. I grabbed her arms and tried pulling her up. She's too heavy. No, I'm too weak. I start to fall over myself. Eileen, let, let me go. No. 
Never. Oh. Cute. Please, I don't want you risking your life for me. I'm on a oversigned little blondie. He shoves me aside briskly. I fall to the floor. Done. He pulled Mary with one arm, without a sweat. Then he drops her on the floor too. I never thought a man like that would have all the women at his feet. Oh, thank, thank you. Careful, next time I might not be around. Yeah, yeah, I, I will. Ah, oh, you saved my life. Mary crawls to him and hugs his legs. <laughs> Than a crazy <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> Cage emoji, thank you. Have fun seeing Jack embarrassed. I can barely refrain myself from laughing. Now Mary is looking up to him. Her her head level is with Jack's. Jack's innocent Mary in a position like that. I burst out laughing. What? I can't move. Ah, my ankle. I broke my ankle. Holy shit. My screams don't catch Jack's or Mary's attention. Someone else notices. What is it? Uh, min min Minyota. Mary, what are you doing to Jack? Unfortunately, it's not what you think. Uh, oh, I. Uh, the Jack say. Saved my life. I was about to fall into the ocean when he saved me. And this is... You, damn. Oh, shut up. You're always joking. I, I, I see I'm serious, man. But why you? Er... Uh, Marco. Sorry to interrupt you too, bud. What could you possibly want now? Don't you see Marco and I are having a conversation? I think I broke my ankle or something. I can't stand up. Eileen, screaming like the devil. What are you doing on the floor? Well, um, just resting. You're resting? Oh. Hmm, do what you want. He leaves me alone on the floor. Marco and Marie disappeared too. <laughs> oh, this actually is a thing! Oh my god! I was just being sarcastic! <laughs> Also, for the fucking record, I tried to save Mary's life, and then she fucking just like, What the fuck you want now? It's like, are you fucking serious? Mary is the fucking... What a fucking bitch. But take care of me and went inside. So I'm here, alone, outside, the cold wind blowing right through me. Nobody cares. I feel like crying. You need a hand? Oh, God. I'm good. Don't be silly. Just let me help. I said, get the fuck out of here. I'm not listening. It's cold and I just can't leave you here. Then go find someone else that can help me. Why? Why do you hate me so much? What did I do? I wasn't your first. My dear, what's wrong? Two in one package. John, what are you doing here? Aren't you gonna help her? No, wait. Laura, he, he tried, but... I don't want him to help me. How strange. But I think I understand. The hard-to-get game, right? But... I'll take care of you. She smiles at John and... She shoes him away with her hand. Ta-ta, darling. What? Darling again? How... Dare she? Laura helps me up. It's a kind gesture, but after what she said, I would gladly suck her. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't give a shit about John. You don't. You said he was nothing to you, but she calls him darling in a fucking loose gesture, nothing important, and you want to punch her in the face. You want to punch her in the face for calling someone un- Link to you at all, darling. What the f fuck is your deal? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs>
is your fucking deal? You are so, you are so everywhere. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Alright. Later, little pretty. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he was referring to you, darling. She can read minds now. Laura helps me to my cabin. I can't put my foot down. The pain is just too much. I never thought she'd be so strong. She helped me to my cabin without so much as an effort. Uh, she isn't going to massage me, is she? Well, here at last. Now lie down. I change my clothes with her help and lie down in the bed. She scrupulously examines me. Her expression changes. Maybe she realized that this is the first time we've ever been alone. So, not even a thank you. Um, sorry. Never broke my ankle before. Oh, you poor girl. You want a good massage? No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. Are you sure? It worked wonders on John. Up and down. Up and down. Laura's probably realized how I feel about John. He's such a shilly chicken. What? Yeah, darling. You're so cute that you can have everyone at your feet. Aw. We're friends now, and she's not sad. You're so cute that you could have everyone at your feet and not just John. All the men in this boat, including Captain Adam. But... What are you saying? That's ludicrous. He's not even around yet. Eileen, you really are a nice girl. You should show your body more. No thanks. I don't like the idea. You're still young. With time, you'll understand what it takes to capture a man's interest. You're just an object to them. Well, surely you know that very well. Me? Yeah, that's for sure. For me, it's natural. But, can I ask you something? But of course, my adorable little darling. What is it you would like to know? Hmm. Whenever she acts like this, I feel like I want to commit murder. Doesn't Otto get... Possessive? Heh. <laughs> yeah. Of course he does. And... Hmm. Otto and I have made a deal concerning each other's... They have an open relationship. Each and each other's the rights. Sounds strange? Deal? Yeah. We talked about it for a long time before engaging our relationship. Oh my word. <sighs> so does that mean Uncle Otto is fine if you leave him? Hey. No, you wouldn't. Why'd I leave him? You've never drifted? Oh. Uh, well, let's say... Your uncle, have, have you seen him? What I mean is... What are you trying to say? Many, many, many men wish death upon me. Uh, more than you can imagine. Would love to have me by their side. But I've chosen Otto. Why? Because he doesn't control me. I don't want my liberty taken away from me. Not now for sure. So it's sort of an agreement between you and him. Yeah. He said it'd be fine. In the end, I always come back to him. But isn't that... That's mad! My little darling love itself is a mad thing. I have to admit that she's right on that. So... Otto is about as much of a cuck as Mr. Birch. Neat. Why, I am still attracted to John after I discovered what kind of man he is. I still like him. Now I have to go. Listen, what I told you just now is a secret. Can we keep it like that? Yeah. Okay. Don't tell anyone, not even Mary. Okay. I don't think I'll be much use to you any longer. I'm gonna call a ship medic. Who? Dr. Elias. A man? Ah, say I haven't met him yet. He's a bit eccentric, but he's very kind. It seems he's pretty good at what he does, too. Blasted. Alone here with a man? Help. And a doctor, too. 
old, ugly, conceited, and often they do more bad than good, and see me this out for good lord. Good day, Melias. Laura told me you sustained an injury on the bridge. Well, he's young, he's probably 40, but he's not ugly at all. You're Eileen, yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm very giddy to meet you. Let me see your ankle. It's your right one that hurts, yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Elias scrutinizes my ankle and touches my foot at certain points, asking me if it hurts. I'm a fool for feeling chills whenever he does that. Alright, it seems you've been broken to anything. You just need to rest for a couple of days. No, a couple of days and here inside my cabin. Yeah, that would be the best thing to do. Oh no, will you come to visit? Of course. <laughs> I met your friend Mary on the way here. And I will gladly come back here to visit you. Ah, with Mary, of course. Excuse me, but I gotta go. Just rest and everything will be fine. I thank him again and he leaves my cabin. Well, what an intriguing person. Even though he's a fucking old grody man. I can't believe I've never seen him before. Though, there's too much of an age difference between us. A pity. Man, this game is fucking weird. Like, this is really weird. <laughs> Some days have passed and I feel much better now. Mary often paid a visit during my convalent, con convalent, convalescent? I have no idea, I've never even seen that word before. I must admit, she's a really good friend. Knock knock. Who is it? It's me, Mary. May I come in? Of course, I was just thinking about you. But really? Funny. I was just thinking about you. Hello. Good day, Eileen. Hello, my gorgeous darling. <laughs> Hello, lots of people. I wasn't expecting this. It seems you feel much better already, or am I wrong? Actually, I, I can almost walk. Dr. Elias is really skilled, don't you think? Yeah. And even good looking. What more can we ask for? Laura looks at Elias and winks. Did he just give her a small smile? Pah. Laura's really hopeless. Poor Otto. We came to invite you to tonight. To invite me to what? There's a celebration on the bridge. Music, dancing, and so on. It was my idea, of course. There's so little to do on this ship. But I can't dance yet. Yep. But you can still honor us with your fine presence. Well said. You don't want to leave me there all alone with all the men on this ship drooling after me. <laughs> oh, I meant us. Mary and I. Uh, uh, duh. She has a certain charm. Shut up, you. <laughs> Stop it. If this is how you two will act at the party, I think I'll stay until tomorrow. Oh, no. You must absolutely come. We'll be waiting for you tonight. All right. Laura and Elias leave. And Mary stays. You know, last night something happened. I was playing with Black on the bridge. Meow, meow. Try to catch me. You're so fucking slow. Bad cat. I ran into the hold by accident. The hold? That's dangerous, Mary. Dangerous? Well, all the sailors sleep there, and if they feel like it, well, I didn't see anyone. Maybe they were all sleeping somewhere else, or drinking, or gambling. I heard Laura's voice. What? Down there? Yeah, she was talking to someone. Who? I couldn't tell. I got nervous and ran away. Yeah, I got nervous when I hear people talking, too. Are you sure you couldn't tell who she was talking to? I only heard a single word. Maybe it was from a foreign language. Which word? Ebel. Or Ebili. Or Ebbelili. Something like that. Now that I think about it better, I'm sure she just said Ebeli. Hmm. I'm curious as to what it means. Yeah. I'm curious too. But we can't ask Laura directly. She might think I was following her. And you, you 
didn't follow her, right? No. Mary. Are you lying? No. What's wrong? Tell me. I'm... Yes! Why? She and... John? She and John what? Well, I'm not really sure, but... Speak! Yesterday, they drank too much. In particular, John. It was such an odd scene, almost ludicrous. Laura offered to bring John back down to the hold. He was so drunk, he couldn't stand up on his own. He should have asked another man. But the strangest part is... Otto suggested it. What? I swear! Well... So I followed them, to see if something else happened. And what did you find? Nothing! Okay, to be honest, I don't know. I hit myself because other people were passing by, so I actually lost them. I wandered around, and then I heard Laura's voice behind the door. It came closer. Then I heard that word. After that, I ran away. I was too scared to stay any longer. Ebel, that word. I have to find out what it means. New quest added. Learn what languages are. That night arrives hand in hand with the party. I already hear music coming from the bridge. Thinking about it making me nervous. I've never been with so many people before. You are dressed up so differently than you were before. Eileen, you ready? Holy fucking shit, stop it. Yep, I'm coming. Yo, oh, you're fucking gorgeous. Thanks, you look gorgeous. Come on, everyone's waiting for you. What would I give to disappear into thin air? Don't be silly, let's go. As soon as we arrive on the bridge, I see a mess. People drinking, dancing, singing, doing stuff, and so on. Not the kind of atmosphere I would prefer. So many people. Hello, beautiful ones. Hello, Laura. You like the party? Well, we just arrived. Hey, girl's over here. He's here? Oh, no. Marvelous. Oh, no. Can't you see the charm of an old seaman? Look at my big-ass fucking eyeballs. <laughs> I only know that you started following me since I started dancing. Well, how can I resist a woman such as yourself? <laughs> sometimes, just sometimes, I wish I had a gun. See you, man, darling girls. I'll try to keep him away from you, too. At least, you'll be able to enjoy the party. As fast as Laura is running, Bert still managed to tail her. That's just creepy. Does anyone want to dance with me? 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 So, what should we do? Well... Um... We should... Probably stick together because then we can avoid the creepy people. Aw, oh, we get to be more friends. And then we could touch vaginas. <laughs> Why are you so afraid of that? I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't want to fall in love with the wrong person. You fall in love so fast. Holy shit. This is like... A problem. Someone could, like, pick up a pencil you drop, it's like, God, I'll marry you. There's a problem in the head of yours there, darling. You get attached really fast. Oh! Yeah, well, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, I, uh, I knew you didn't understand. Mary and I sit down near the other people, but away from most of the other sailors. We talk a lot about old times. When we were young, lots of good memories brought back. I'm really happy that Mary is with me. The trip would have been a horrible one if she wasn't here. Alone, with Laura being the only other woman on board, I'd get mad. I could have been caught by a man like... John. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Mary. What's up? Oh, no. <laughs> Hello. It's going well. Why don't you join me, Marco and Bert? Marco is a killer when he tries to sing popular Italian songs. Mary looks at me, waiting for my reply. Hmm. Well? Um... 
I wonder if you'd be okay with this. Ah, fuck it. Alright, you won't regret it. John goes up ahead and informs the others are joining them. I think I can hear Mark goes overjoyed and perhaps intoxicated response. Along the way, Mary and I exchange a few words. Thought you didn't want to go. Well, it's just to have a laugh. Yes, but I was fine even just talking with you alone. Only you and me. Me too, to be honest. But you know, I've learned a few things from this trip. And they are. First, try new things. You know. Yes. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in your own little world. You'll be missing the chance to make new, strong, and interesting memories. Second, that sometimes we need to distract ourselves. We'll be on the ship for a long time. We might as well have a little fun, right? True. The other thing I've learned is... Beware of men. Oh, great. You're gonna make a Tumblr blog and everything. Haha, <laughs> too true. You seem to have bewitched them all. All of them trying to give you kisses. Funny. There's a girl I know who's actually done that. <laughs> right. Well, I guess I should shut up then. When we arrive, everyone is enthusiastic about our presence. I feel very embarrassed. Oh, girls are here. About time. Judas Priest. Where's look? Oh, I think they're actually talking about the legitimate Judas Priest. Not the, the other one. <laughs> Where's Laura? She she promised to keep me away from us. Keep them away from us. Y you're right. Oh, she's over there. What is she doing? She's almost naked. What? Where? Where? Right there, look. I'm going. I'm sorry. I, I gotta go. But I, I don't know. see Laura where you pointed. That was a lie. <laughs> ah, Eileen. You. Genius. Hey, thanks. I'm just uh, fucking smart. You're as clever as you are beautiful, then. Uh oh. Hey, Marco. What's up? Huh? What? Is it because you didn't see Laura? Oh. Uh, well. Um. Because it would have probably been a very nice show, right? Yeah, definitely for you. For me. What? Is that a bad thing? Um. I don't think I said anything bad. After all, she's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. Is he trying to make me jealous? Or is this revenge? Or maybe he's not tied to anyone, so he's being honest about his opinions, and he's just saying, hey, she's a very attractive female, she she knows it. That's what that's what she does. Maybe he's the, maybe you're not even involved in his thought process here. Why you gotta make everything about you, huh? Now chill the fuck out, realize that even though you're the main character, he don't give a fuck. Yeah, probably. I'm a man, and I like beautiful women. I won't hide it. That's why we need feminism. Maybe we should change the topic. Sure. No problem. I just, uh, want to add that you probably would be just as beautiful as she is if you wore the right clothes. What? You shameless, despicable, promiscuous womanizer. Maybe he's right. Now even you defend him. Uh, what? Eileen, uh, it's not that you're not beautiful, too. He's not complimenting you, probably, because, well, whatever happened between you. And you are beautiful. I have seen you. I mean, not naked, but, you know, less clothes. And, you know, this, this game is like, the writer just had a constant erection while writing this, just like, fantasizing about what he's gonna finish writing later on. <sighs> what? Have you been peeping in on me? <laughs> Women fighting. Shut up, all of you. I would never dress, or should I say undressed, like Laura. I, we, gotta, we gotta change this shit. So we spend the rest of the night with them, talking about everything else. Sometimes John tries to start a few spicy debates, but he never gets far. It's odd. Every time we talk about normal things, like the weather, the food, and etc., it's a bored I almost yawn. It's only when we talk about the more interesting things that my mind actually focuses on the conversation. I think I know why Laura is like that. She's free. 
more free than anyone else in this boat. Bo bo I almost admire her now. It makes me mad. Oh, it's pretty late and kind of tired. Yeah, me too. Time to go to bed, I think. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can walk to my room myself, because I'm kind of a bit... I got a spoon with me. Ah, <laughs> you drunkard. I think you'll need John to help you. So sorry. No. I was planning to take advantage of you and Marco leaving so I could seduce Eileen. Yeah, I prefer Mary's company anyway, so come on, let's get out of here. Whoop! Uh, before I can even think, I'm left alone with John, who is a disgusting pig, and I don't like it. <sighs> well, let's see here. You are very tall. Very buff. Uh, you have... Huh. You look tired. I'm gonna stay a little longer, however, to watch the stars. I'm a sailor, so I'm an expert on astrology. No, you're not. John, get out of bed. I'm a man. You can't tell me what to do. What are you gonna do, punch? Go! Uh, wow. Wow. Whatever. Night. Going back to my cabin. I'm really tired and it's the end of the day for me. I bet he wasn't able to discover more about Ebel. Quest failed. Oh. Right. I forgot I was trying to learn that, huh? Whoops. Where's Mary? She was with everything else. Everyone else? Well, never mind. I should just go to sleep. As I head to my cabin, someone emerges out from it. Ha! <laughs> ha! I was looking through your things. What's up? Mary, what, what's so funny? Oh, sorry. I think I drank too much. I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> yeah, you smell like an old drunkard. Ha! <laughs> don't make me laugh. I'm gonna throw chunks. Gnarly. Sorry. Ugh. Mary collapses on my bed. Hey. Hey. She doesn't reply. What should I do now? Hmm. I'll leave her. I don't want to stay in bed with her. She could vomit all over me. Hug. I'll sleep on the ground. So many things have happened today. This day has finally come to an end. Time to get some well-deserved rest. Oh, I thought we were gonna like lay in bed together and cuddle. Talk about like movies. Yeah, I feel chipped. I thought Libra was in like, all right, cool, let's just lay down. But nope. Apparently, I was supposed to do move her, and then she'd probably be like, Ugh, "Kiss me, I'm drunk." I'm like, "Ugh, fine, I guess I'm into it now." But no, I couldn't do it. Fucking stupid. Whatever, man. I can't get my freaking Yuri on in this shit. This is lame. Can I go back? Is there a back button? I don't think so. Man, I feel freaking ripped off right now. Lame. So lame. <sighs> ah, well. Captain Adam says we're halfway to the new world. That's good. Because honestly, I'm getting a bit tired of staying on this ship. First, John. Now, Mary's been acting horny. And I'm really curious to find out what Otto and Laura are up to. They've been very silent lately. I hear nothing from the other cabin nowadays. Huh? Someone's scratching on my cabin door. I go open the door. Meow. Oh, the, the cat. He moves towards me and rubs against my legs. I reluctantly pet his ugly face. Ah, what a beautiful coat. So soft. How pleasant. Little black cat. I laugh. I can't believe I used to be afraid of you. Seems the cat wants to play. Poor little lone, little, little one. All alone on this ship. Thinking about it, I was actually a bit cruel. I mean, even cats need friends, right? Would you like a friend, a little cat? Meow. Yes. Yes, it's so boring around here. There's nothing to play with. What a laugh, hearing him talk like this. Is he really the only cat on board? Well, time to eat. 
Mary should be here soon. Strange. She isn't here yet. I wonder why. Eileen. It, yeah? Why are you crying? Mary. What is it? What, what happened to her? I was walking by and I passed her cabin. I heard her crying, so I knocked at her door. But she didn't want to talk, so I asked Otto for help. He broke the door down. Laura covers her mouth with her hand, eyes wide. She looks like a broken woman. How is she? Speak! She's... fine. But she was trying... I'm out of here. We're done. Yep. Good game. Fuck it. Later, dudes. Not touching that shit with a stick. <laughs>